All right, today's video is a little different. I'm going to show you how to rinse gear, or rather, how to rinse gear incorrectly. So, regulator, just came back from diving, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the dust cap out of there, and it's going to go in the water, okay? Now, probably six of you are going to faint, and three instructors' heads are going to explode, but this does happen sometimes. We got it nice down in the water. We're going to shake it around a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let this sit in the rinse bucket. And then if this happens to you, I'm going to show you what to do after it comes out of the rinse bucket. But for right now, let's let this sit for about 10 minutes. So it is 157. Let's go ahead and let this guy sit and see what happens. All right, we're back. It is... A little over 10 minutes. No problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my regulator out of the rinse bin. I'm going to go ahead and empty the stages out here. And I'm going to shake my first stage out. Dust cap still out. Get everything else out. And now I'm going to go ahead and take our rinse bin, which is named Tim because we name all our rinse bins here, down on the floor. And I'm going to handle my regulator. So, the key here is that we have one really good resource for handling this, and that's scuba air, because scuba air is so dry. And we only have one thing that can really get damaged, and that's our pressure gauge or computer up here. What we don't want to do is have water get up to the pressure gauge. So the first thing I do when I find out that I put my regulator in the rinse bin without a dust cap on is I go ahead and I'm going to remove my pressure gauge from the regulator system. When I take this off, I'm going to look at my hose end. I'm going to see if there's lots of moisture on the hose end. If there is lots of moisture on the hose end, I'm probably going to remove the pressure gauge end as well. That's another video, though, that I'll show you at another time. Because uh, uh, that's a really handy one because you can replace those two O-rings up there in case your pressure gauge or your computer is leaking a little bit. All right, now that I've got the pressure gauge off, what I'm going to do is hook my regulator up to some scuba air. Very important, I'm going to keep my hands totally away from the high pressure port, which is open, and I'm going to gently go ahead and turn on the air. All of that water that's in the top end of the first stage is going to get blown right out of that high pressure point. So I gently run it until I don't see any more mist coming out. And then the next thing I can do is leaving that running just slightly, go ahead and open up these second stages. And any water that's in that bottom end of that first stage should get blown through to the second stage. The second stages really don't have an issue with moisture. If I'm really concerned, I'm really concerned about it too, I'm going to go ahead and hook up my inflator hose to my BC with the air slightly running through it, and I'm going to go ahead and then uh, press the inflator button to get the uh, water out of this as well. Now. Turn this back on, no moisture, nothing coming out. So now I'm all set to go ahead and reconnect my pressure gauge. And I specifically installed a pressure gauge that has had a lot of moisture over the years run through it. This pressure gauge is several years old and has had a lot of moisture pushed into it. And I'll show you what it looks like when this happens. Tighten up my pressure gauge. Remember. Finger tight, cast finger tight, not man tight. Looking at this pressure gauge, you can see that it's fogged up and it's got some rust stains, which is a good indicator that it's had a lot of moisture pushed into it before. It's about to be replaced. When I turn this on, see how that pressure gauge jumps? The needle goes pop, 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 pop on the way up. That's a good indicator that this pressure gauge is also bad and had a lot of moisture in it as well. All right. so. Now, with that on, 
One last thing, I'll just make sure nothing left in here. Pressure gauge isn't leaking, although it needs to be replaced in this case. And we're all set. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching.